Cut it out, man! I am Mitch Flower Power. I speed on Super Mario Bros. 3. I'm currently trying to grind out the world record in this category. It's the last category where I need the world record in. I have the world record in any percent warpless and any percent no wrong warp. And no wrong warp means I use the warp whistles go to world 8. I am currently 9 seconds away from a 2 year old world record in this category. I've decided to come back after a bunch of years of not playing this category and see if I can take the record back. And as you guys just saw, I almost did. But there is a little bit of RNG involved in Super Mario Bros. 3, so... So here we go. 100% is a little bit better than Warpless because you don't have to reset so much in 100%. Um, almost every day I'm on world record pace, but RNG and slight slip-ups in skill, you know, can prevent me from getting, getting my goals, so... I always try really hard to see if I can make it work. Yeah, so as you guys just saw, I was I was on world record pace if I would have got that first try, which skillfully I did manage to nail it. Unfortunately, I got bad RNG. That run would have been really, really good. Would have been really, really good. But I suck. 16,000 more attempts until I catch up the warpless, right? The amount of attempts I've done in Warpless, so that, I mean, that's the biggest problem with Warpless, is that you spend all your time in World 1 and 2, and 100% you don't really have to worry about that all that much. So, for anyone new here who doesn't know, 100% includes me to pretty much, it's, the category is pretty much all levels, right? In Mario 3, there's no actual way to, like, record, like, a percentage, there's no, like, percentage, in, there's no file name, there's no file in Mario 3, there's no percentage, so there's... It's, it's really hard to calculate the percentage, so what we pretty much chalk it up as is all levels. Um, and since there's collectible items, we decided might as well get Hammer Brothers as well. Right? Might as well. Yo, Doctor with the Twitch Prime. You gotta help me, Doc. You gotta help me. Today is the day. Is today the day? Today ain't your day. Oh shit, yo, can we get the tunnel spam? Fuck yeah, that was sexy. That was sexy. Did I just get a coin ship? No, close though. Oh no, I wasn't, I wasn't actually close to coin ship. Ooh, that's so beautiful, that strat. So yeah, essentially, this is this is what I do. I play every day, um, I grind it out, I laugh and joke and sing and dance and play with all of you guys on Twitch and just have an amazing time. Minus, you know, the actual physical contact, of course. Um, but, but Frig, yeah, man, we, uh, we grind for this world record. We've got, man, we get so close every day, right? We get so close every single day, man, it's insane. Yeah, you can defeat bosses with fireballs. Hell yeah. Freak, yeah. You can't with hammers, though. You can't with hammers. Uh, hammers will not allow you to... You can't kill the Koopa Kids with the hammer suit, which brings a tear to my eye. Somebody asked me earlier today, guys, what would I rather have? A dog with human hands or a cat with a human face? I said that's kind of scary. I decided on neither of them. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't, neither of them. I don't want either of those things. Dog with human hands. When I was asked that, the best thing that I was able to say was, it sounds like Ripley from Aliens 4 Resurrection. The clone number like 8. And she's like, kill me. <laughs> and then the other Ripley clone flamethrowered her up. That's kind of how... How it would go with me, I think. Imagine high-fiving your dog, just being like, what up? <laughs> yes, the entire Canadian population of 6,000 is watching me. Man, I hope a lot of you guys are getting a big nostalgia trip from this, man. Mario 3 is so OP. It's not hard to teach a dog to hive. Yo, Billy Furious with the gift subs. Thank you. Yo, watch this hammer brother get wrecked. 
stepped on like a fly. Get wrecked. Yo, thank you for the five gift subs, man. Uh, I use a box that's actually attached to my system to capture my inputs. When I get a second, I can show you. But what it does is uh, this... So I have this box that plugs into my system like, like a regular controller, right? But on the other side of the box, it has another controller input for my actual controller, and then a cord that plugs from the box into my PC, and then I use a program. It's pretty cool, man. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. Nice, man. The chest won't appear until the boomerang is off the screen. So if the Hammer Brother moves backwards and throws the boomerang, the boomerang's gonna be on the screen less time than if the Hammer Brother moved forward and threw the boomerang, right? So, with Mario 3, there's elements of RNG just, like, all over the place. All over the schmace. The RNG is all over your face. Oh my god, I clipped through it. Alright, let's go. <laughs> let's go. I didn't mean to. Ah, get the head scratchies. We got a movement of two, so he's right- yeah, he's right by the mushroom. Right by the frig house. Oh my gosh, I almost took damage there. Gimme, gimme, gimme! Who didn't know that was there? Whose minds did I just blow right- right there? Frig yeah, man, Mario 3 is so good. Dude, don't ever hate on Mario 3. This game is an extremely exhilarating speed game. If you guys out there are like, I like Mario 3 too, Mitch! then you should definitely give it another play. You can get it on the Switch, you can get it on the Wii, you can get your own NESs. Original Nintendos are not that hard to find. Bet Mitch, bet Mitch. Don't give me no butts, man. Get in on the gaming life. How did I know that your voice sounded like that? Come on, guys. I swear to God, if this Hammer Brother makes me do another two screen transitions, I am gonna be so peeved. That is so annoying. Oh my God, that's gonna be a time loss for sure. What about NES Classic? Oh my God, I knew he was going to. That's so stupid. So that obviously cost me time, right? The screen's got to change as I switch over, and then now I got to change it back again. Dang, man, that sucks. Stupid Hammer Brothers, man, they control a lot of what goes on in this game. You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to smack them right in the face. I want to punch them right in their nose. That's what I would like to do to them. They think they're so cool. They think they're so awesome, but really they're not. Nobody even likes them. Has anyone ever said anything good about any Hammer Brothers in any games, including Mario Maker and all that crap? Nobody likes Hammer Brothers. They're garbage. Wee. All right, minor setback. We got two moldy donuts right here. Eee, look at them. Let's get rid of one of them. We have got no time for the second one. Clench! Oh my gosh, that is so scary. You, you do all of that just to keep your P speed. That is the scariest jump. You intentionally drank moldy milk today? No, you didn't. Don't come to my channel and start making things up like that. We all know that you didn't, okay? No one would openly drink moldy milk. Your secret's not safe with me. My neck. Moldy strawberries? Yeah, strawberries mold so fast, man. It's ridiculous. I like buy strawberries two days later, like the bottom of them. I think the best thing for you to do when you buy new strawberries is take them out, roll them up, like, well, not roll, but like set them all on paper towel, kind of dry them out a little bit, rinse them off, wash them, dry them out, and then like put them in your own container, right? I don't trust the store containers anymore. 
I don't trust the store containers. Yeah, oh, Jasp Rosie, thank you. Here's what you gotta do, guys. Here's what you gotta do. Take a potato and eat it like an apple. I have never done that. I know, so I grew up knowing someone who used to eat orange peels and enjoyed it. I know orange peels aren't bad for you, but I mean, I don't enjoy them. They're a little too much of that flavor for me. And then I know someone who used to eat onions like apples. Again, no, I'm not judgy. My judgy eyes are closed, but not for me. Not for me. I'm not about to judge. And then the potato. Get in there! Raw potatoes with salt is good? Hmm. You knew a kid who ate apple cores? I feel like I knew a kid who ate apple cores too. Again, not... Not a thing anyone should be doing. That's not... I mean... Is there anyone in here who can definitively say that eating apple cores is a very bad idea? Aside from the, the choking hazards, of course. Apple seeds are not good to eat. Apple cores are good. I legit eat lemons like apples. I like lemons like that too. Not a lot because of my stomach kind of like hurts a little bit. But I will say yes to like a lemon slice and eat it naturally. I love. It tastes so good. I love lemons and limes, man. They're so good. Uh, the game audio is just my upscaler. If my computer does like something in the background or like it's loading something, the pitch will change. Not noticeable if we're all having fun. I barely notice it anymore. Yes. Uh, okay, so a lot of people will look at my plus time and be like, Mitch, you're losing time. Reset. It needs to be perfect. Okay, so here's my theory, right? I need to save nine seconds to beat the world record. If I can't save 7.18 seconds, what the hell am I doing? What the hell am I doing? So if you say to yourself, Mitch, is it, can, can you recover for this? Of course I can. Of course. I already used the star. And by star, I mean cloud. I just got really bad RNG in World 3. Really bad. What the hell, what the hell am I doing? I'm, I didn't know the cloud wasn't in my inventory, man. I fucked up. I forgot that World 3 was so jank with the Hammer Brothers. Whee! Whee! Dude, he just did that last run like five times in a row. So stupid. Okay, this will not be a uh, save time world, but we can still save time in other worlds. How was that eyegasm for all you new viewers? Everyone new watching who's never seen that level speedrun before, how was that eyegasm right there? Mm, tasted so good. The eyegasm's so good. Can you see? He just did, he did the same thing last run. Do you guys remember? Oh my god, dude. All right. I would really, really like to reset now. I would really like to reset. <laughs> show, show, I got, I, hey, I need to show off the Jesus clip. Dude, the World 4 Hammer Brothers are so bad. They're so bad, man. It's unbelievable. Okay, I have to say for now that this world 4 is not very good. Yeah, speed lightning! Yeah, man. The speed lightning. Mm. 
Doesn't mean I can't show you guys some awesome cool strats. Oh, I'm gonna lose like 10, 10 seconds here. So I'm gonna be like plus 17. So, I have myself convinced that the universe and Mario 3 are interconnected somehow. I don't know how, but, but so once you start failing in this game, you just continue to fail. You never stop failing. And then, and then, so it has nothing to do with like your overall skill. There's something in the universe that forces those things to happen, right? So you, in, you make a mistake on your own, not with RNG. And then after you make a mistake, you get really bad RNG. And then because you got bad RNG, you make another mistake. And it's just a downward spiral. And it has something to do with the weird workings of the universe. Or maybe that's just my way of not wanting to blame, you know, actual things. I'm telling you the truth, guys. I'm telling you. It's not me, man. It's the game. It's the game, dude. Oh yeah. This is gonna be a scary time loss. This is gonna be a scary time loss. I mean... It won't be that... Eh. Eh, you know. The universe is quantum entangled with the SMB3, right? Right? There's, there's no other reason behind it. Couldn't possibly be any other reason. Jesus Clip is in World 5, so we're coming up to it. But if I don't get the Jesus Clip and I die and reset and we have to watch World 1 again, who's to blame? Who's to blame? Yo, Skin Man Jim, what's up, dude? Is this a Jesus Clip run? Yes. Yeah, that's true. If I'm on a good run and then I get the Jesus Clip, that's an amazing... I know. That kind of thinking gets you killed, though. I only lost 0.8 that... Wow. I did not expect the run to go that well. I was not expecting that. 0.8's not bad. I, we, get, we might be able to bring this back for a solid PB here. World 5 has to go amazing. Like, man, I can save so much time in World 4, right? If something like that. Like, the game just has to give me some pretty good RNG, which, I mean, is asked for a lot. Press faster! I can't do it, Captain! Imagine being stuck on a planet with all Hammer Brothers. <laughs> that would be a nightmare. I used the music box to put them to sleep. Stop them from, you know, dicking around all over the place. Give it up, HBs, give it up. I used to have long hair, then I had pink hair. And then I had to get my passport renewed, so I cut my pink hair off. I think it was a good decision. Alright, that was a movement of three. That was okay, that was a movement of three. Uh, I am Canadian, yes. Another movement of three. He's beside the mushroom house up top. If I hear a movement of one, he's gonna be in between the fortress and level seven. If I hear a movement of three, he's gonna be on the right side of level seven. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Movement of three, all right. So whenever I come out of this level, he's gonna be in the center row on the far right side, on the right side of level seven. You guys all owe me seven trillion dollars if I get that right. So the reason I'm pointing that out is because in Mario 3, it's very good to be paying attention to the Hammer Brother movements. So essentially what I'm doing, like on top of playing really well, I'm paying attention to the 
to the type of movements the Hammer Brothers are doing to try and like figure out exactly how I'm gonna how I'm gonna like route out the rest of the world, right? I really need to know where they are so I know what to do. Oh my god, Mitch, how'd you know he was there? He could be anywhere, right? So you gotta you gotta listen to the movements. Go through every level like a boss, man. Thank you. Trying to get that world record, man. We're so close every day, dude. We're gonna make history for summoning salt, and he's gonna be happy, and then we're happy, and everyone's happy. All right, we gotta go for Jesus Clip. This world is not working out very well. All right, so there's a clip in this next fortress in like two levels, where if I get it, awesome. I beat the level in a funny way. If I fail it, I die. And th that's why somebody called it Jesus Clip. I didn't come up with that name. That's just that everyone calls it now. Dude, five movements of three in a row. This is just unbelievable. It's so lame. The Hammer Brother could be moving anywhere in this section, but he has to do like th these long movements every time. Uh, I have the record in all forts as well, but nobody takes that category seriously. Mm, that was another eye gasm. All right, so now I'm gonna perform the trick. If I get it, I die. Or if I get it, I don't die. If I get it, I die. Or the other. Just watch. <laughs> so I got the Jesus clip. As you can see, as you can see, if I didn't clip into the wall, I would have died. If I didn't clip, if I didn't do that, I would have died there. Because there was lava below me, right? There was no way I could recover. <clears throat> Am I doing it every time for fun? No. <laughs> Dude, it's such a stupid trick, man. It doesn't do it doesn't mean anything that trick. It's such a joke. How much time is saved with Jesus clip? In my case right now, I don't save any time. Right? I just I don't lose that much time. But it is faster to do that clip about three seconds, three and a half seconds faster to do that clip than to do the level normally. Oh, thanks for the bits, guys. Thanks for the bits. Do you have to do 7-7 for world record? I don't, actually. Um, but you need to get really good RNG and be on an amazing pace. Uh, you, you pretty much have to be approaching 7-7 before you can make that decision, right? So if I just, like, restart this run and start it from world 1, I can't say, Oh, I'm not going to go for 7-7 this run because I don't know how the RNG is going to play out. Right? If I get amazing RNG, I could be ahead by like 15 going into World 7, and I can say to myself, I don't need to go for 7-7. Seven, because seven. I only need to save 9 seconds, right? Not bad, man. Ooh, not bad. Come on. Sorry, I was like loading something, so the sound, the sound went all weird. Well, okay, so G, so because I did the clip, I saved time in that world. Yeah, purple means I saved time, but I'm still behind. Sadly, it's a sad, sad time. Ah, I start. I lost my alignment, but I fixed it. That level can be pretty scary, as you can see. There's lots of, lots of, yeah, below the pit. Yeah, my normal viewers is like 600 to 1,000. At least recently, that's what it's been. Uh, I was born and raised in uh, Ontario, Southern Ontario. 
Holy shnikes! This level's so much fun because of how, how much control I'm in. Oh, I love it. All right, let's get a let's get a green block here. Got him. Oh, can't jump on it. I ju I debated myself. World six is Canada. I'll let that slide. I'll let that slide. Canada's got dope music then. Fuck yeah. Is it possible to make up the seven seconds? Yes. It'd be very difficult, but yes. Yo, we're about to wreck this boom boom. Sorry, this- Sorry I went quiet there, this fortress is scary, and I just killed the Boom Boom with the star. See you later, Boom Boom. World 6 is Alaska? Listen, guys, World 6 is World 6, okay? Don't worry about what World 6 is. This game does not want to give me peace speed for this level. game I went right through the block and the, the block had to be over a pit pit this pit this